In this video, we're going to look at how to divide by 10, 100, 1000, etc. So let's start off by dividing by 10. So we're going to divide a number that ends in a 0 by 10. So we're going to divide 120 by 10. So I'm going to start off by doing short division. So 10 into 1 doesn't go, remainder 1. 10 into 12 goes once, remainder 2. And 10 into 20 goes 2 times. Notice whenever you do 120 divided by 10, you get an answer of 12. So you've made 120 10 times smaller, and you've got 12. Now, you can do this for every single division by 10 or 100,000 if you wish, but there's a quick way of doing it. If it ends in a 0, and you're dividing by 10, you can just take one of the zeros off. That's quite a crude way of talking about it, but it just gives you the right answer very quickly. So, 520 divided by 10, well, it's going to be equal to 52. 80 divided by 10, well, it's going to be equal to 8. 600 divided by 10, well, that's going to be equal to 60. And 7,000 divided by 10, that's going to be equal to 700. Just taking off a zero from all of the numbers you're dividing if you're dividing by 10. Okay? That's only if it ends in a zero. So let's have a look at some of our numbers that don't end in a zero then and look at how we divide those by 10. Okay, so we're now going to look at dividing a number that doesn't end in a zero, such as 52 by 10. So 10 into 5 doesn't go, remainder 5. 10 into 52 goes 5 times. Remainder 2. Now, whenever you're dividing and you've got a remainder, you carry on the division and you put on some zeros. Okay, so 10 into 52 goes 5 times, remainder 2. And 10 into tw uh, 20 goes twice. So 52 divided by 10 is equal to 5.2. So notice we made 52 10 times smaller and got 5.2. Now, uh, another way of talking about this is if it doesn't end in a 0 and you want to divide it by 10, you can move the decimal place once to the left. So 52, the decimal point is at the end of the number here. Whenever you divide it by 10, it moves to here. So we would move the decimal place and put it in there. Okay. Again, it's quite a crude way of talking about it, but it's just a quick and effective way of dividing by 10 whenever it doesn't end in a zero. Okay, so 24 divided by 10. So the decimal point at the end of the number, 24.0, so it's here. We're going to divide it by 10, so we're going to put it, move the decimal place one place to the left to get 2.4. Again, 725 divided by 10, the decimal place is at the end of the number, divide by 10, we'll move it one place to the left, so you're going to get 72.5. 8 divided by 10, so the decimal place is here, uh, just after the 8. We're going to move it one place to the left, so it's going to go here, so it's going to become 0 0.8. Okay, so we just move the decimal place one place to the left. And then you have to put a zero in front of it to make it 0 0.8 like so. Again here, you would have the decimal place here. So 2 divided by 10, you would have the decimal place after the 2. Moving it one place to the left would give you 0 0.2. And you put a 0 in front, 0 0.2. If we were to do 0 0.2 divided by 10, again, the decimal place would move one place to the left. So you would get 0 0.02. And finally, 0.03 divided by 10, the decimal place would move one place to the left, so you'd get 0 0.003. Okay, so we're now going to look at dividing by 100. So if you had 900 divided by 100, so let's try the bus shelter method to a short division like so. 100 into 9 doesn't go, so remainder 9. 100 into 90 again doesn't go, so remainder 90. And then 100 into 900 goes 9 times. So... 900 divided by 100 is 9. Notice that we have just taken off two zeros from the 900. So whenever you divide by 100, you take off two zeros. Okay, again, that's just a quick and easy way to talk about it. Okay, so you made it 100 times smaller, so we've taken off two zeros. So dividing by 10, you take off one zero if it ends in zeros. If it ends in zeros and you're dividing by 100, you would take off two zeros. Okay, so 300 divided by 100, well, take off two zeros, leave you with three. 4,000 divided by 100, we'll take off two zeros, 1, 2, leaves you with 40. 1,200 divided by 100, take off two zeros, would leave you with 12. And 50,000 divided by 100, you take off two zeros, and that would leave you with 500. Okay, so that's a quick and easy way of dividing a number if it ends in zeros, okay, by 100. Uh, let's have a look at what happens whenever it, it only ends in one zero or it doesn't have any zeros at the end at all. Let's have a look at what happens whenever you divide by 100, whenever it doesn't end in zeros. So, you've got 125 divided by 100, so let's use short division. So 100 into 1 doesn't go, remainder 1. 100 into 12 doesn't go, remainder 12. 100 into, well you can see it's going to be a remainder here, so I'm actually just going to put on some zeros. Okay, and just carry it on, like so. So 100 into 125 goes once, remainder 25. 
100 into 250 goes twice, remainder 50, and 100 into 500 goes five times. So whenever we divide 125 by 100, we get 1.25. That means that we have moved the decimal place once, twice to the left. Notice that the number of zeros tells you how many times to move the decimal place to the left. So again, this is just a quick and easy way to talk about it. So you've got the decimal place here, we're going to move it twice to the left and get 1.25. So, let's have a look at what happens whenever we divide numbers by 100. So, we've got 321 divided by 100, so we move the decimal place twice to the left, 1, 2, and you get 3.21. 5,551 divided by 100, we've got decimal points here, we're going to move it twice to the left, 1, 2, and we're going to get 55.51. Okay. 520 divided by 100, so the decimal place is here, we're going to move it twice to the left, so 1, 2, and we get 50, or we get 5.20, okay, or just 5.2. We don't need to write the O at the end, because whenever you have uh, zeros after decimal points at the end, you can just get ignore them. For instance, 3 is the same as 3.0. So we had here, we moved the decimal place twice to the left, 1, 2, and we got 5.20, which is just the same as 5.2. Okay, 35 divided by 100, we're going to move the decimal place twice to the left, so it's going to go 1, 2, and we're going to get 0 0.35. 6 divided by 100, so the decimal place is here, we're going to move it twice to the left, so once to there, and another one, so it's going to become 0 0.06. Notice here that the decimal place is here, we move it twice to the left, 1, 2, and it gives you 0 0.06. 0 0.3 divided by 100, so this one is here, we're going to move it twice to the left, so once to there, and once again, we'd give you 0 0.003. Notice how if the decimal place is here, we move it twice to the left, 1, 2, it would become 0 0.003. Okay, so let's look at what happens whenever you divide by 1,000. Now, we notice that dividing by 10, you take off one zero, or move it one place to the left, the decimal point. Uh, dividing by 100, you would either take off two zeros, or move the decimal place twice to the left. Dividing by 1,000, you're either going to take off three zeros, or move the decimal place three places to the left. So here, we've got 8,000 divided by 1,000, so take off three zeros, one, two, three, leave you with eight. 24,000 divided by 1,000, well, take off three zeros, one, two, three, we'll leave you with 24. 1 million divided by 1,000, we'll take off three zeros, 1, 2, 3, we'll leave you with 1,000. Okay, so that's quite straightforward. Let's look at what happens whenever you divide um, numbers that don't end in zeros by 1,000. So, uh, 1,234 uh, 1, uh, 1, divided by 1,000, well, the decimal place is here at the end of the number. We're going to move it uh, three places to the left, 1, 2, 3, to give you 1.234. Okay, 521 divided by 1,000. Again, the, uh, the decimal pl uh, points at the end of the number, so we're going to move three places to the left. One, two, three. So it would be 0 0.521. Uh, 21.3 divided by 1,000. Again, we're going to move the decimal place three places to the left. So one, two, and then another one would be equal to 0 0.0213. Let's just double check it. I sometimes find it's easier whenever it's decimal numbers like this, quite small decimal, or quite small numbers like this. Uh, whenever you uh, do you think you've got the right answer, it's quite easy to check it. Okay, so with the decimal place was in between the one, the, the, the one and the three. So the decimal points here, we're going to move three places to the left. So it goes one, two, three. Correct. Okay, and finally, three divided by a thousand. Okay, so that's going to be we're going to move the decimal place once, two three places to the left again that's quite hard to visualize like that okay you could sort of put zeros in front of it as you're working with the sum uh, so it's going to be 0 point we're going to move three places to the left so one two three so 0 point not not three let's just double check it the decimal place is just after the three we're going to start moving at three places to the left so one two three